Hey all, what's going on? Uh, it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you an update on where we are on our 1 to 700 Tamiya, or Tamiya, Scharnhorst. So, we're starting to get busy on it. I love that fizzy look. You know, just the sheer uh, amazing power that rolls into somebody's port when one of these things come in. And just kind of exercise their will over somebody. Um, we've got the main superstructure built. We have the uh, aerials in. Haven't done any of the super detailing yet. Don't have the tur um, main turrets in. Only because I, I know I have to clean my airbrush. And they are a different color. On um, this camouflage, she had the, the grayed out, light grayed out um, bow and stern. Had the decals in. And... Um, so I'm going to have to do some paint, you know, masking and then paint the top of the turrets and halfway down the sides. So, and then with, you know, the view directors sticking out too, they were another side. But I thought I'd give you kind of a quick update on where we are. She was beautiful. I'll give you that. And I'm not so certain what I'm going to do. I did get the, uh, the flag in, as you can see, waving in the wind here. Um, and it is the Nazi flag, not the, the, the rip-off. How I do those, by the way, for those of you who don't know, is you just take some tin foil and get a smooth spot like that. And then go ahead and cut out your decal. Dunk it in the water like you normally do, like you're going to be placing it on a, a, a model. And then I use Microsol, and I hit it with that and just let it dry. I let it dry for a good few hours. Then I just kind of cut out the decal from the uh, aluminum foil and then fold it exactly in two and then bend it, twist it to give it that spin, you know, look like it's moving in the wind and glue it to the mast. Now, I did a lot of research on this and a lot of the other, um, let me see if I can show you one easily. A lot of the other um, Kriegsmarine ships had the big one way up. On the main mast. There's one. That was the Prince Eugen. If you can see this, Let's see if I can move that down so you can get a better view. She had it up on a, um, the main mast as well, but for some reason, she had it back here. Tons of photos of it. So anyway, that's how I do those. So hopefully next time we do a video. She'll have her main charts in, and we'll start on the uh, photo etching. Again, this one's pretty much out of the box. All I'm going to do is put railings on it. it. Makes a nice kit. Had somebody ask me if they make an early version. Um, Amelia, I think it was. Um, I haven't seen an early version. She was asking, you know, not too early, where they still had the old bow, not the Atlantic bow. Um, but the one without the, uh, without the, uh, you know, the plane launch. This one actually uh, makes a perfect version of the early one. Um, if you can see the hangar below there, there's nothing to prevent you from just removing that, the, the, the plane launch and the plane itself. And... One thing I've seen on the 350s in some kits is they put their life rafts, you know, the square ones um, with the, the leather straps or the, the fabric straps, you know, the big square ones. They had them evenly spaced on that hangar deck wall. And that looks pretty cool, but this kit didn't come with it, and I don't have any extras. And by now, I can't line them up perfectly. But that's where we are. Well, I thought I'd give you an update. And uh, you guys just keep safe and healthy no matter where you are. I live in a state where it's just really, really starting to kick in. So now we're one of the hot spots. You know, it kind of sounds stupid. Florida, Texas, California, and Nebraska. But it is what it is. So anyway, there you go. I'll talk to you guys soon.